Hello everyone, welcome back to some testing in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, and as you can see, things are very green. Things are apparently very green because I added JNSQ to the install that I had in the previous video where I was testing up Parallax 2.0 in the stock system. This is no longer exactly the stock system, it is scaled to 2.7x and somewhat changed around as JNSQ does, but it's very green. I uh, basically... Uh, from the mod list from the previous video, I have taken out stock visual enhancements, which I think is redundant if you use JNSQ, and I've just added JNSQ. And the question is whether that is good. <laughs> um, will it work with Parallax? I'm mostly concerned whether it works with Parallax. And let's just take a look at the system here. Now, Parallax would only be configured for Kerbin, the, you know, the normal places that we have we are most familiar with in Kerbal Space Program. The new planets will probably not be configured for uh, Parallax. Uh, I did not see any sign that JNSQ is compatible with Parallax, but I, I don't know for sure. Well, here we are in flight mode, and you can see it's not quite as green as it was in the Space Center screen. Uh, we do have a tree on the runway there. The scatter added by Parallax, well, um, well, it's here, it's here, but it might be scattering in places that we don't want it to scatter. I see some things on the runway there, and of course these, these trees here. So yeah, it might not be operating quite as intended here, but it is here, uh, and we will see whether it is on the moon. I'm planning to run through the same mission as we did in the previous video, at the risk of duplicating myself. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to see whether the BDB uh, set up here with Apollo uh, actually I actually wanted the crew access arm uh, the Apollo Saturn V mission uses the right amount of fuel basically with this scale 2.7x scale or whether we need to scale it up or not so I'm gonna run through the mission to see whether this is now scaled properly and that is the goal here so uh, let's just go through the staging here again. The craft file is from modular launch pads, and so we've got arms retracting, throttle up, and ignition. And launch. I have not changed anything except for. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, except for adding JNSQ and subtracting stock visual enhancements. That's it. The landscape is very different from Stock Curve, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure I like the green. <laughs> it doesn't... Right now it's not looking particularly great, to be honest. And I'm all about the looks in this case. I'm not too sure I'm sold on JNSQ at the moment. Maybe there's... I mean, it can't be that there's a higher level texture pack. The unzipped uh, JNSQ is like 4 gigabytes. Maybe there's some conflict, I don't know. It's not impossible for Parallax and JNSQ to conflict with each other. But even so, uh, at least I'll verify the scale here. Okay, separation. And ignition. Okay. And I do like having the skirt and the launch escape system separated. So, first the skirt. And then the launch escape system. I'm not exactly sure. I, I played with JNSQ before, but I'm not exactly sure where the cutoff for space is anymore. I played it last in 1.6. In case we 1.6. So, it's been a while. But I'm not totally new to it. Now, there's no way I would be able to, I think, just pull in the save from my previous stock install and use it with a rescaled thing here. I'm not using rescale, just to be clear. Uh, rescale or uh, sigma dimensions aren't necessary for JNSQ. JNSQ has its own scaling. I swear, uh, the, the textures make me think of, like, version 0.7.3 of KSP more than anything else, so there's got to be something wrong. It doesn't look bad up here. It sure has the clouds and everything. 
Oh, I decided to turn down the boil off rate down to 10%. There's an option in the setting menu, and I just went, yeah, it was at 50%, and felt it was a little bit too much boil off there. The boil off rate in space seemed to be akin to what you would expect like on the surface of the earth. In space the boil off rate is less, much much like orders of magnitude less than what it is on the surface. I think we still have a little bit too much here on this stage. But the question is uh, also how much delta B the lander and the service module are packing for our moon part of it. Uh, alright, alright. I want to deorbit that stage. Okay, separation. And we'll just sort of ignite that really low throttle here. And point down again. What can I say? Well, we had the camera turn for orbit. I'm pretending I only have the same limited ignitions they had in with the real Saturn V, but I can just shut it down and restart a whole bunch. Oh, I'll just shut it down. We still do have boil off, that's for sure. It's just not what even a realism overhaul person might consider crazy. Okay, that should certainly be in orbit. Wow. Um, that's a, that's a flyby of the moon and Minmus. <laughs> uh, it's tempting, I tell you. Um, but let's not, I guess. We'll stick to the plan. Okay, 1,500 to transfer. That sounds familiar to me. I think maybe the ambient, uh, chatter sound... We could probably turn down a bit. I mean, to some extent it's masking the fans I've got going in the background, <laughs> but... Well, that's not bad for the sun flare though. And go. So yeah, taking a look at things, maybe 3.2x would be better. I don't know if I want to rescale this one to 3.2x or I mean uh, rescale JNS cube to 3.2x instead of 2.7 uh, if that's possible or if uh, I should just pick a different system or just go with the stock system rescaled. I saw the rescaled continued. I'm not sure whether I should be using that or because it only uh, said it was for 1.8 and 1.9. Is rescale continued the rescale that we are going for here or it requires sigma dimensions, which is normal, and uh, that at least is updated. So maybe it's the right thing to use, but I'm not entirely sure whether there's a version that's more updated to 1.12, or whether 1.8 to 1.9 is the best we can get. Okay, that's fine. As usual, I'm going to the actual forum pages and taking a look at things not using CCAN or anything like that. Don't talk to me about CCAN. <laughs> Don't talk to me about CCAN. So we have obviously quite a lot of Delta V left. So that's why I'm thinking that 2.7 isn't quite right for these BDB rockets. Um, well, while we're headed out, I'm going to separate and turn around. And alright, I guess I can use the reaction wheel as much as I don't want to. I should maybe add a undock, huh? Oh, well, let's be careful here. Um, maybe I should just get rid of all the reaction wheels from the command modules. It's a feature that I uh, probably won't remember to use half the time because I'm so used to realism overhaul now. From here the landscape doesn't look too bad. Okay, we are connected. Uh, decouple payload. 
bring that up without smashing into the S4B stage. Oh, we're gonna smash into the S4B stage. Okay, okay, forget that. S4B, do you still have control? I guess. Um, okay, um, not that ways. Um, Okay, that's a good S for me. Okay. All right, continuing on. Yeah, it looks fine from this side. It's just really close in. I don't get the I don't get the initial green, and the whole scene looks not very good resolution when we're close in during launch. I like this blue though. This is the right blue for me. The S4B stage is now going the opposite way around the moon as we are. In theory, it could smash right into us, right about there. <laughs> In theory. This moon's trying to be sneaky too, isn't it? What is it with moons and trying to be sneaky? Oh, okay. Yeah, and it, it really gets bright when you get close up. Which is weird too. Ambient light. Is that a planet shine being very planet shiny? Maybe I should. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Well, good enough. Ignition. Okay. We are in a good orbit. No problems. And uh, we should probably land around here ish. Probably. Okay, ship manifest to transfer them. Okay. All right, so we're on the dark side here. And I am just going to use RCS to do the initial descent burn. Let's see. Really just want to land around here. Okay, the sun's rising up there, and I probably should give some thought to the fact that things are rather bumpy around here. We still got more Delta V than we need, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got plenty. Oh, in fact, we're landing short here. Let's cut that. I wanted to be over here in the good light there. I'm gonna tilt up and sort of extend our reach. I mean, we've got more than we need on the descent stage, but the ascent stage, considering we have to get to 800 meters per second in order to get to orbit, doesn't have that much extra. So, there is that to consider. The texture here looks nice, right? Kerbin, though, <laughs> um, I don't know what to think about Kerbin. But are we gonna get our scatter? We still have to see. Come on, Parallax, where are you? Well, either I'm not getting the Parallax scatter or it's so well camouflaged. Oh no, maybe they're popping up now. But they are really well camouflaged. That's a little bit of a problem. Right. I mean, we can sort of see them, but they are pretty well camouflaged there. I sort of want to go over here this bit. Still a good amount of thrust for this particular moon. Okay, oh, we hopped a bit. All right. So, about 500 meters per second too much on the descent stage. I'm not going to have Jeb get out in this case. We already tested him bumping into the scatter before. So, we're just going to go back up 
And we are going to try and rendezvous. And then we have to see whether how, how the Delta V to get back is. So, our CS on and go. But my main concern right now, everything looks good except for the close up on, uh, around Kerbin during launch. So I'm interested if somebody knows what's going on there. Maybe I've got a mod conflict. Okay, we'll coast to Apoapsis. Okay, making orbit. We've got some inclination, 1.2 degrees. Got something forming up there, but we probably shouldn't jump the gun. Uh, well, especially since our periapsis is too low. Okay, we've got a good enough encounter there. And so for this stage, we're looking at 168 meters per second extra. Not quite as much as we have with the descent stage, but... I mean, still enough to work with that we can go up to 3.2x at least. Though, what, uh, when I looked at rescale continued, it's sort of default numbers. There was one for 3.5x, not for 3.2. Though, I, I've seen a lot of people talk about 3.2. Now, again, we won't be using Rescale with J and SQ. Uh, I don't know if there's an easy way to get J and SQ to 3.2x, like if there's a drop-in configuration kind of thing. There's a fair bit of uncounted Delta V with the mod propellant, though. Uh, you know what? It's more visually appealing to do the docking with the command and service module, so we'll do that. Okay, we are docked. Why do they both want to decouple? Fine, decouple then. Off it goes. Alright. Going back home. Here again, it looks like we have plenty of Delta V. It says we've got 1,000 and we only need 360, maybe 400. Unfortunately, we are doing this burn in the dark. And go. And we'll tweak that a little bit. Let me go with 30, let's call it 30 kilometers. And we are heading back. Let's see if the heat shield works okay. And that's how the moon looks like in JNSQ. Please come in on the daylight side. Please come in on the daylight side. Uh, night's creeping up on us. Oh no, it's the other... Ah, uh, uh, we're going on the nighttime side. Ah, uh, all right. Capsule decoupler. Just try that again. Okay, it did that. It released the panel and then it goes there. All right, fine. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, maybe I should turn the ambient light up again. Well, we've got an overheat detect detection there. It brought me out of time warp a lot lower than I thought it would. I think it was like. It was definitely below 90 kilometers. I'll check that in a sec. Oh, a blader is blading. If we do use further rescaling, we have to take into consideration what the heat shields are prepared to do for us. Not too much more than this would be the answer. 7-ish G's. The landscape up ahead looks basically like it did at the Space Center, so we're sort of still in the same situation as far as that's concerned. Why does everything else look good? <laughs> and we're probably splashing down here. Which is good. 
Now, as far as Kerbin is concerned, oh, 80 kilometers. The atmosphere is at 80 kilometers. It's a bit tight, but no, oh, we get pretty slow with the drogue shoot. Main shoot. Well, we'll have to wait till 1,000 meters for the main shoot. Parachutes take a while to inflate there. But okay, no problems. And splash down. Okay. Does this come with floats? Oh, we've got a select COM thing here as well. Didn't even use that. Okay. Recover. Alright, so completed the mission. Still got some margins, so we could scale up a bit, but the limiting factor seems to be the ascent stage on the lunar module, and so we can't scale up too much, otherwise we won't have enough there. So all right, my, my main, uh, I mean, JNSQ looks great in general, but my main concern is the space center area, and especially on launch, uh, something looks off. So if somebody has any idea there, that would be great. And I'll just wrap it up here. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.